What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors, and welcome to the first official video in our off-grid build series. And quite frankly, I'm ready to get this homestead started. Sorry about the angle, it's pretty windy down here, and this is the best spot I could find for you to protect you from the wind, which is in the bed of my truck. But without further ado, today we are going to be installing this hand pump well down in our pasture where we have tilled up the earth so that way we can put our bigger stuff like our pumpkins, watermelons, cantaloupe, corn, all that stuff that just takes up a lot of room in the garden. We tilled up a big chunk of land down here so that way we could plant this down here and leave us plenty of room up top to grow some of the smaller vegetables that uh, don't take up too much space. So expect a lot of time lapse today, but I'll be stopping every chance I get to explain kind of what I'm doing because I'm new at this and I'm going to be learning along with you guys as well. So let's get at it. Okay, so for those of you that don't know what a hand pump is, pretty much it's exactly what it says. This box here calls it a pitcher pump. Uh, it's what they used to use before they had the ability to pull water up with a uh, underground pump that would push water up. This is actually going to pull it. Now, limitations with this thing. It can only dry or it can only pull water up from uh, 25 feet. So anything deeper than that, if your water's below that, this thing's just not going to be able to pull it up. But the way it works is it's got some leather seals and a flap down in there that's uh, like a one-way valve. And as you pump this, you'll push down and it'll release air through that one-way valve. And then as you pull, it seals, creates that suction and pulls that water up. So the reason we decided to do a hand pump versus a traditional well is that traditional wells are very, very expensive. Now, our property has a well already drilled, which was great. When we got up here, it had a well in it, didn't have to worry about it. But the distance between our pasture and our property where our house is up above, is far too great, runs across a road, and it would be so expensive to run water lines down here to the pasture. So down here, we have a creek that is just over here, runs right through the property, and the soil is sandy with a little bit of clay, and then below that it is gravel, which means that our water table is nice and high. I'm not gonna have to drive too far down into the ground in order to tap into water, and it just makes sense. This is an affordable option. Uh, and we'll be able to pump water by hand into a barrel and from that barrel, water our garden. So that's what we're gonna do. This is what you need to get started. Now you need your hand pump itself. You can get these at Tractor Supply Company, North 40, whatever you might have, like a farm and ranch store. They usually have these. They also sell them on Amazon for about $50. Now that's how you get the water to the top. The most important part of this entire thing is going to be the drive well point. So this right here, it's dirty because I already tried to install this. I hit a rock, had to pull everything and start from scratch. But this is what goes down into the ground and you can see here, it's got all these little holes and some screens in there. So that way it can let the groundwater in and that is what you will draw up to the top. So this has a hardened, I believe it's cast iron point that'll help you drive it down into the ground. It makes it so much easier to drive. You can actually do it by hand. You don't need any machinery. And you'll drive this down into the ground, throw a coupler on there. This is inch and a quarter pipe, which is what I'm gonna be using all the way to the top of the well. The well pump itself is set for inch and a quarter. But you'll put a coupling on there. We've got a 10 foot section of galvanized steel pipe, inch and a quarter NPT threads. And then we've got another coupler here. This is gonna go on top of that 10 foot one where we will put this little section of inch and a quarter pipe. And on that, we will put another important piece, which is the drive cap. This is a big heavy duty cast iron solid cap that you put on this pipe. And then that is what you were gonna beat into the ground and the reason I added an extra pipe is because when I did this the first time, I did not have, let's call it a beater pipe, where I can mess this up and take it off and be done with it and then put the well cap on the top or the, the well pump on the top. So I didn't do that last time. I messed up an entire pipe. That was a $50 mistake, but I have learned and I am back again to try it one more time. So don't forget that and your drive cap itself. Other than that, you're gonna need some pipe thread sealant. This is just some non-toxic uh, thread sealant, a sledgehammer, and some pipe wrenches, and some place to put it. Now, an important thing with this is that you gotta read the instructions and you need to know what your water table is like. If you don't have water within 25 feet, 
you're not gonna be able to pull that water to the top. The, the pressure that is required or the suction that is required to get that water to the top is too great and your little pump won't be able to do it. So make sure before you buy this that you know where your water table sits so that way you can easily access water from the top versus having to pump from the bottom. Okay. Got some rain coming in, I gotta hurry. All right, so I just stopped. We we're about four feet from ground level, but I want you to hear something. See if you can hear this. That level right there is right at about seven feet of pipe up here. Now I've got a three foot drive point, 10 foot of regular pipe, regular galvanized inch and a quarter, and then this is a one foot section. So realistically i've got 14 feet so halfway down i've got water which means that i'm below that clay level and that now i can now start priming the pump getting it soaking in water get these threads figured out and get all that pipe dope on there so that way they can seal and then we will put that on and see if we can't get some water all right folks the well pump is in i have got water in the pipe i dumped water in here one thing to remember is you want to put water in here at least it says five minutes beforehand but that'll allow the, the leather seals in there to swell up and absorb that water so i put the water in there dump some water in the pipe i've got it primed and i've got it strapped down now i didn't get water initially and i'm gonna leave it priming probably overnight to just let that gunk that's piled up on the screens clear off and let the water seep in and hopefully we'll have water coming in and filling up this pipe so we can fill up a barrel so we can water our garden all right wind's picking up rain's coming in i got storms all around me so that's going to be it for today's video folks i'm going to go ahead and leave this as it is right now still not getting any water but you know i'm learning you're learning i might have to get more pipe and drive it just a little bit deeper we'll see so stick around for part two we still have this whole garden to plant which that's the priority, get the food out of the greenhouse and into the ground. So thanks for sticking around, hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, hit that bell icon so that way you get notified when our videos come out. We're doing a new video every week. That's this whole series, one video a week until the series is done. So hit that bell icon. Thanks for sticking around folks. And as always, stay wild.